gradation analysis is one of the most important tests for predicting the operational performance of asphalt and concrete, as well as chemicals, food grains, pharmaceutical powders, and many other materials. Selecting a test sieve must be based on test specifications, material size, and sample volume. Consequently, the test sieve's frame should be carefully considered. Test sieve frames provide a stable platform for proper mounting and tensioning of the sieve mesh. But also, and just as important, the test sieve frame confines the sample during the sieve analysis test. Let's look at what to consider in deciding the sieve frame when selecting test sieves. Frame diameter is a crucial consideration in matching the size of the sieve to the sample volume. A test sieve with more surface area processes material more efficiently when testing higher sample volume. When a large volume sample is tested within a small diameter frame, not all of the particles are properly exposed to the mesh openings, resulting in poor separations and inaccurate test results. Choosing a smaller sieve diameter frame may be preferable when there is a small volume of material to be tested due to either the cost of the material, the material's limited availability, or when the material has a limited particle size deviation. A rule of thumb for matching frame diameter to sample volume is that no more than one or two layers of material should be present on any sieve before, during, and after the separation process is complete. The frame height of a test sieve allows for maximum testing efficiency when separating multiple fractions on a sieve shaker. During the agitation process, each particle should have enough room to be lifted off the mesh surface, reoriented, and then land back on the mesh in a different position in order to have the opportunity to pass through the mesh. Consequently, Gradation analysis of coarse particles require a full height test sieve. On the other hand, half height test sieves allow a greater number of sieves in the sieve stack, thereby allowing more separations in the same vertical space when testing finer material. Another consideration is which sieve shaker you're going to use. Some sieve shakers offer more vertical capacity and consequently offer more frame height options for the sieving process. Selecting a test sieve's frame material is most often a practical matter of price and long-term durability, but also the requirements of the test specifications when indicated. For many years, brass has been the more affordable choice over stainless steel. Today, however, the cost of the copper material in brass has made stainless steel the more affordable choice. Also, there are some known characteristics between the two metals, such as stainless steel is more abrasion resistant than brass, which is a softer metal. It is also important to point out that some ASDM test specifications call for stainless steel only and stainless steel is preferred for food and pharmaceutical applications due to its resistance to corrosion and low transfer of contaminants to the test sample. And finally, acrylic frame sieves. Acrylic frames have certain advantages for smaller diameter sieves. The acrylic material is easily machined for a precise nesting fit and allows for visual monitoring of the sample during the agitation process. It is important to consider the test sieve frame as well as the test specifications required when choosing test sieves for performing gradation analysis. Gilson offers test sieves from 3 inches to 18 inches in diameter, as well as test sieves in full height, intermediate height, and half height sizes, with the most popular sizes available for immediate shipping. Gilson also offers ASTM Manual 32, 
a comprehensive guide to test sieves, sieving methods, and sieving equipment. For any questions about selecting the right test sieve for your gradation analysis, or for any Gilson product, please contact Gilson Technical Support or Customer Service. Gilson, your industry leader in materials testing equipment.